Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and in this session we are going to discuss about Bloom's taxonomy. We are going to discuss about Bloom's taxonomy in each and every aspect and our flow will be from the basic of Bloom's taxonomy, the background of it, the original version and the revised version and then why it is used. So before discussing the original, let's discuss about background of it. Okay. So let's start. Bloom's taxonomy is a set of three hierarchical models, which is used to classify educational learning objectives into levels of complexity and specificity. So basically just to classify educational learning objectives into levels of complexity and specificity, Bloom's taxonomy is basically having its specifications. What are the three levels? The three levels are cognitive domains. The next one is affective domain. And the third one is sensory domain. But cognitive domain is basically used most frequently as it follows the traditional education and it is frequently used to structure curriculum learning objectives, assessments, and activities. Basically, cognitive domains revolves all around knowledge-based things, knowledge-based domains. So we are going to discuss about this, so don't worry. And if we discuss something, background of Bloom's taxonomy, the model were named after Benjamin Bloom. The, you can simply say that who chaired the committee of educators in 1956 with collaborator Max Engelhardt, Edward First, Walter Hill, and David Crethfall that devised the taxonomy. He also edited the first volume of the standard text, Taxonomy of the Educational Objectives, the Classification of Educational Goals. Okay, so this is some, some of the background of Bloom's taxonomy. Now, if we talk about the original one, then in 1956, original version of the taxonomy, the cognitive domain is broken into the six level of objectives. Cognitive domain. Cognitive domain, it means that knowledge-based domain. Knowledge-based domain. Knowledge-based domain. Six levels. The first one is knowledge. Second is the comprehension. Third one is application. Fourth one is analysis. Fifth one is synthesis. And sixth one is Evaluation. So let's discuss about the first level under original taxonomy, the knowledge. Basically, if we discuss about knowledge, knowledge involves recognizing or remembering the facts, terms, patterns, basic concepts, basic definitions, answers without necessarily mean, without necessarily understanding what they mean without necessarily understanding what they mean. Its characters may include knowledge of specifics like terminologies, abbreviations, specific facts, knowledge of ways and means of dealing with specific conventions, trends, sequences, classifications, and categories, knowledge of universals and abstractions in field. So basically, if I want to give you example, we can simply say that name three common varieties of mango. Knowledge without necessarily mean what they mean, without necessarily know what they mean. So knowledge is the first level under the tech, Bloom's taxonomy of the original version. The second one is comprehension. Important term, important verb. Comprehension involves demonstration, demonstration, but what? Demonstration about understanding of facts and ideas by organizing, summarizing, translating, generalizing, giving description and stating the main ideas. So basically organizing the things, it is the matter, right? So comprehending means like a lot of raw data is there, right? So we have to summarize this by organizing, by translating, by giving main ideas, giving descriptions, etc. The third one is application. Application involves use of acquired knowledge. Use prior knowledge 
to solve new problems basically if you are facing some new conditions some new situation how to solve problems in new situation based on your prior knowledge that is called as application part it's just like that it's just like that would apple prevent scurvy a disease which is caused by deficiency of vitamin c if apple provide the sufficient quantity of vitamin c definitely it prevent scurvy so we have to use our previous knowledge just like supervised unsupervised learning in artificial intelligence science so what machines do machines acquire the knowledge based on the previous previous data patterns previous impacts and generate the results in new situation basically application part is like this based on your prior knowledge how a student is going to apply how student is going to use the prior knowledge in new situation right that is the application part the next one is analyzing important one analyzing involves examining and breaking the information into component parts determining how the parts relate with one another identifying motives causes making interferences and finding evidences to support generalization its characters include analysis of elements analysis of relationships analysis of organization basically if i want to give example comparing and contrast four ways of serving foods made with apples and examining which one is having highest health benefits that is the analysis part fifth one is synthesis synthesis involves building a structure or pattern from diverse elements it also refers to the act of putting parts together to form a whole its characters include production of a unique communication production of a plan a proposed set of operations derivation of a set using uh, relations like that right so that is the synthesis it means that if unhealthy uh, unhealthy recipe is made, making from some 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 part how to convert it into healthy that is the thing synthesis of knowledge and the next one is evaluation the last level that is the sixth level of uh, all the taxonomy evaluation involves presenting and defending opinions by making judgments about information and validity of ideas or quality of work based on the set of criteria its characteristics include judgments in terms of internal evidence judgments in terms of external criteria just like that which kind of apples are best for baking a pie and why that is the thing which kind of dish is better that is the evaluation and why so this is the old taxonomy knowledge comprehension application analysis synthesis and evaluation now we are coming to bloom's taxonomy revised version the image is directly taken from wonderworld university center for teaching and whole credit of this content is goes to wonderworld university right so bloom's taxonomy revised version is also having this uh, six levels in pyramids but the word verbs are like first at the first remember recall the facts basic concepts define them duplicate list memorize them repeat state this is all under remember the second one is understand explain ideas or concepts classify describe discuss explain identify locate recognize report select and translate how a student is translating the memorized things how it is discussing how it's explaining over this right how they are classifying them all are under understanding that first remember and thereafter understand what exactly the thing is the third is apply now it's if you remember something if you are understanding these things now apply use information in new situations execute implement solve use demonstrate interpret operate schedule sketch so basically if you know the some some knowledge if you are having remembering some something if you are understanding them then try it try to apply it that is the thing the fourth one is analyze at the fourth level we are having analyzing draw connections among ideas differentiate organize relate compare contrast distinguish examine 
experiment, question, test, all are under analyzing. The fifth one is evaluate, justify a stand or decision, appraise, argue, defend, judge, select, support, value, critique, and fact. And the sixth one is create, produce new or original work, design, assemble, construct, conjecture, develop, formulate, author, investigate. So basically, if we talk about the Bloom's taxonomy, revised version, this should be the follow as a classification of educational taxonomy. First is remember, first phase is remember, then understand, then apply, then analyze, then evaluate, and then create. The curriculum should be like that. The curriculum should be like that, right? So I hope I tried, uh, uh, tried hardly based on the facts, based on the work, based on the some content of Bloom's taxonomy, and each and every content, each and every verb, each and every every keyword is clear to you. Further, if you are having any kind of doubt, confusion, or query, you can comment. You can put your comment in the comment section, and uh, we are going to discuss over it. Very very interesting. So try to be try to be interactive with us. Try to be involved with us, and uh, let's learn together happily and. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bhai.